Good morning, it's Mitchell Prentice here, and today I wanted to talk about interest and simple interest. If you have not completed your do now questions uh, on working out income tax, I've put the working down here, what you should have had with your submission. Please uh, make sure that you check that this was the correct calculation you used. I didn't put the answer down here, so you couldn't copy me uh, straight away. So. Today, I wanted to talk about interest and then simple interest. So first, I just wanted to talk about the things um, with interest. Okay, so when we're looking at interest, uh, we know it's just charged if you are borrowing money off somebody else. Okay, it's also charged if you have money and you're lending it to somebody else like a bank. Okay, so there's two situations that we look at in our maths course. Um, when we're talking about interest, okay? When you are earning interest, if you put money into a bank account, or if you are borrowing money from a bank and then they are charging you interest, okay? So there's two cases where we will calculate interest if you are borrowing money or if you are lending money or putting money into a bank account, okay? Uh, and it's really important because in our topic of income we just did, uh, you notice that interest came up in a few questions, and that interest is a, a kind of income that we are dealing with, okay? It's considered bank interest, okay? Um, so, can you please make sure you've got those notes down, and let's have a look at our first kind of interest that we deal with, which is called simple interest, okay? So, our heading is simple interest. And what I just want to work out, uh, tell you first, is that simple interest is sometimes called flat rate interest, okay? So it's sometimes called flat rate interest, okay? Or just flat interest. So if you ever see the word flat interest, okay, in a question, or anything with the word flat or simple in it, we know it's talking about this kind of interest that we're dealing with. Um, it's the easiest kind, and we'll look at another one, compound interest, soon. Um, and it's just the words, um, the word flat, I'll explain it soon. Okay, so simple interest is sometimes called flat rate interest. And what we need to know about this, and it is always charged, it is always charged on the principal. Now, I just gave you notes for the principal. The principal is how much that you borrowed from the bank. Okay, so for example, if you borrow $6,000, that is called the principal. That's what your loan amount initially was. Okay, so it's your initial loan balance. If you bought, buy a $10,000 car and you pay a $2,000 deposit, then the principal, how much you borrow, is $8,000. Okay, so it's so flat rate of interest, it is always charged on the principal. Okay, now what we what we do is we use the formula to calculate how much interest is being charged, which is this. We use the formula um, I is equal to P R N. Okay, P times R times N. Now, in your textbook, it might use capitals, and it does use capitals. However, I'm using lowercase r and lowercase n, as this is what will be used in year 11 and 12 HSC years. Okay, so it still means the same thing. We just have the principal times the rate times n, so I have to talk about what n is. Okay, so we use the, the formula i equals prn, and I'll just say where 
P is equal to the principal. Uh, R is the rate per time period, so the interest rate per time period. And that we should write down as either a fraction or, or a decimal, okay? So as a fraction or decimal. So for this, if you had a 6% per annum interest rate, then we don't write six there. We write 6%, which is six over 100, or we write 0 0.06. Okay, so P is how much you borrow, R is the interest rate, and N is the number of time periods. N for number, number of time periods. Now, I didn't just say the number of years. Uh, most of the time it is the number of years um, because interest rate might be, say, 6% per annum, which means per year. However, sometimes we might see questions that we say that the interest is calculated monthly and then N will be how many months it would be. Okay, if it was calculated, interest rate was calculated daily, then N would be the number of days that you have. So that's what we're talking about with that. So let's go through some examples and see how we are going to use this. So EG, just say you borrow $6,000 at a flat rate of 5% per annum for three years. Okay, so we've got our three bits of information here. We've got that our principal is $6,000, our R is 5% and it's per annum um, and our, our, our number of annums, our number of years is three. So we'll write down our question, uh, sorry, our formula sheet like we always have. We just write I equals P R N. Okay, so we're multiplying the three together and we say the $6,000 is the principal times our rate is five over 100, 5%, and then times that by years, which is three. Okay, so that will be our calculation, and then I can just get the calculator and then just do $6,000 times 5%. I might put 0.05, which we could have wrote in our formula instead of the five over 100, okay, and then times three years. So the interest charged is $900. Okay, so this is the interest charged. And we just need to realize that how much we would have to pay back would be $6,000 plus 900. So the amount owing is $6,900. Okay, or your loan balance that you have to pay back would be $6,900. Okay, so if the question asks for interest, it's $900. If the question asks what is the amount owing, then it's $6,900 at the end. Okay, so EG2, let's say we're borrowing, we're, we're not borrowing, we're putting money into a bank. Okay, so we might say this is you invest. You invest. Maybe you invest $12,500. Uh, banks don't charge you as high interest rate if they're borrowing the money off you. Um, so they they might give you a at a flat rate of, maybe they'll give you 2.1% per annum. Okay, so we're investing $12,500 at a flat rate of 2.1% per annum per annum, and let's say for 18 months. Okay. What we need to do now 
is work out what is the interest that we are going to earn on this investment. Okay, so it's not borrowing it, we're earning money. So we'll probably have to pay tax on that money. money. Um, and let's have a look and see. So we will say that our I is equal to PRN. Okay, and we see our principal was $12,500. Our rate, which was 2.1%, so that's times 2.1% or 0 0.021, and then we times that by, now, 18 months. But we don't have 18 months, don't we? Because it's per annum, our uh, interest rate. So we want this in years, which hopefully we can see 18 months is one and a half years. And if you can't see that, you could just do 18 over 12 because we know that we can convert uh, 18 months. We would divide by 12 to get years. Remember those conversions that we did at the start of this topic. Okay, so I pull up my calculator again and then I do 12,500 times 2.1%. I'll write it as a fraction now so I don't uh, make a mistake. And then I times that by 18 over 12, or you could have just done 1.5. Now, this is my amount of interest that I've earned from the bank. So $393.75. $393.75. Now, if we want to find out what our total balance is at the end, we often use the letter A, so the final balance. We will use the letter A for that. Okay, the final balance A is equal to the principal, how much you initially put in, plus the interest that you earned. Okay, so the final balance is the initial 12,500 plus the interest. Okay, so 12,500 plus 393.75. Now, you don't need to retype that because on your calculator, it's already there. So just go plus, um, there's my mouse, plus 12,500, the initial amount. And that gets you $12,893.75. Okay, so $12,893.75. The final um, thing that I want to talk about with interest is why it's called flat rate interest. And then I want to talk about, sorry, two more things. And then I want to talk about rearranging the formulas. So this one is why is it called flat interest is our next heading and let's have a look and see an example of this so say you borrow say you borrow fifty dollars okay at a rate of Maybe we'll just say 25% per annum. Now, I've done these big numbers just so it's easier to see. But say you borrow $50 at a rate of 25% um, per annum. What we want to do is work out, let's do a table of our different answers. Okay, for different values of N. So let's do a table for this. I might add an extra line just to help you with the working and uh, I will say that for this let's work out for when n is n is equal to zero firstly okay if you borrow fifty dollars at a rate of 25% per annum, and you, you put it in for 
zero months, okay, how much interest is they going to charge? Well, because you didn't have it in for any time period, the interest is going to be zero. You're not going to be charged anything, okay? If we had this for one month, work, let's work out our answer here. Sorry, one month, one year. If we had this for one year, then we go $50 times 25%, okay, times one. Okay, so for one year, they're going to charge you um, $12.50. Okay, so the interest, I put it as two lines on your sheet, just so you know, it's $50.50. Okay, where's my line? It's 50 times 25% times one, which gave us $12.50. Okay, so that's my first one. If I borrow it for two years, well, where'd it go? Okay, if I borrow this money for two years, let's see what that comes up to be. So I just change this to two years. It's $25. So that's 50 times 25 over 100 times two was $25. If I borrow it for three years, I just change this at $50. I'm borrowed $50 at 25% times three for three years, which is $37.50, okay? Now, hopefully you can see a pattern that's emerging. Okay, so for these, if I'm going to continue this pattern, then it times it by four and then times it by five, what I'm going to get is for four years, it's going to be $50. For five years, it's going to be $62.50. Okay, it's going up by the same amount every single time. So why is it called a flat rate of interest? Is because if I graphed this interest rate, okay, let me have a look and see. If I graph this, what I'll get is a flat line. Um, so here's my graph and just say, I now have this for zero years, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years. So this is N, my number of years. Then what I'm going to end up with is my interest is going to be a perfectly flat line. This is my interest on the other side. So it's called a flat rate of interest because it just continues to go up by the same amount every single year. Okay, so if I drew that, I would see that after one year, it's $12,500. So this was $12,500. After two years, it should have been, uh, not, not 12,500, sorry, it should have been $12.50. $12.50, so that's interest in dollars. Uh, $25. After three years, you can see what it's ended up being. It's ended up being $37.50. After four years, it ends up being $50. And after the five years, it ended up being $62.50. So it's going up by the same amount every single time. So you can see by that what it's doing. You can just follow the same pattern. So it's $37.50. Okay, that's why it's called flat rate interest. The interest is going up by a flat line. The final example I wanted you to talk about is rearranging the formula. rearranging the formula. Okay, so 
if you remember your equations, then what you'll get is this I is equal to PRN can be rearranged into three other formulas. So they're the same thing, but I just want you to realize if you wanted to work out the principle, then I would divide both sides by the rate times the number of periods by the RN. So my principle is going to equal to the interest over the RN. Okay, it could also rearrange to be if I want to work out the, how long it will take me to earn a particular amount of interest, then I could divide by PN. Uh, sorry, by PR if I want to find N. So therefore, the N is the interest over PR, or I could rearrange this formula into the one if the if I want to work out the interest rate, then I will use I over PN. That's I over PN. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean by this. E.g., you have, just say you have, say, $14,000 to invest. To invest at 5.5% per annum. How long will it take to earn an interest of $2,000, okay? So, how long will it take to earn interest of $2,000? Okay, so we've got a simple interest question here. I forgot to say flat rate. But that's okay. You have $14,000 or simple interest. You have $14,000. The rate is 5.5% um, and we want to earn an interest of um, $2,000. So straight away I can see how long it will take. So I need N and I can use the formula N is equal to I over PR. Okay, so I rearranged it and I, dare, I can work out what N is by doing the interest of $2,000 and then divide that by the principal, which is 14,000 and then times the rate, which is 5.5%. Now make sure we can use our calculator properly for this because what happens is sometimes, whoop, sometimes this gets a bit, um, some students don't get this correctly in their calculator. So they do, you do $2,000, okay, and then you are going over 14,000 times 5.5 over 100. Now it worked perfectly fine, just sometimes students put this times 5.5 over 100 to the right, so it's not underneath in the fraction. Okay, it looks like it's confusing here, but that's because the calculator, we just press the SD button like, the, like I'm just doing here, and that's approximately, so 2.59, so approximately 2.6, approximately 2.6 years. Okay, so that there is... I would say 2.6 years to one decimal place. Now, of course, you could change that to years, months, days, seconds, and stuff. Um, however, it's approximately, you put it in for just over two and a half years to earn that $2,000 interest rate. Okay. Um, and my EG2, this is my last example for the video. So, say, how much interest or what rate of interest? What rate of interest is required? Sorry, I'm looking down a bit to write to earn, say, 
$5,000 if you invest, maybe you can invest $18,000 for five years. Okay, so just say you invest $18,000 and you want that to earn you $5,000 interest over five years. That is, if I go back here, like in this kind of question, you want to invest 18,000 so that after five years, it's earned, what was it, $5,000 of interest. Okay, so we can see how much that is because it's after an R question. And we say R is equal to I over P. N. That's my calculate my formula above. If you want to go and see, but I just rearranged it, and then I get my interest was five thousand dollars. My principal is eighteen thousand, and that's over five years. Now here's the trick. This is why I did this question. Um, where's my my calculator is because if you have one to work out interest, the answer always comes up as the fraction or the decimal. Okay, see so 1 over 18. Okay, or this one here is 0 0.055555. Um, we just need to realize this is the decimal. Okay, it keeps going. Um, so therefore, the percentage is what is a, what is this as a percent, which is five point five 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 percent. So it's approximately five point five six percent to two decimal places if I rounded it off. Okay, so I'll leave you there. I hope this video was helpful uh, on simple interest, uh, working out principal. Um, or the interest rate or the number of periods using the simple interest and why it's called a flat rate of interest.